Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Sag. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Sagittarius, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Sag? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What's going on with Sagittarius? Love messages. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Sorry, you guys. That was a motorcycle. Super loud. King of Pentacles is here. Okay. And we have the Four of Cups. Some of you, I'm feeling like some of you are walking away possibly or ending something even with a job. I'm feeling a job first. I'm asking for love messages, but I want to be clear about what I'm seeing with the King of Pentacles. Could be money, career, job related. Okay. With that Ten of Swords sitting there first. Then we have the King of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Some of you possibly felt like you weren't getting paid enough or you feel like you just weren't satisfied. Maybe the job didn't have the benefits that you like. Some of you have just ended something. It's like, I don't want the cup. I don't want the offer. I don't want that. Okay, some of you could be turning down job offers um, that just don't meet your standards, I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, see, the devil energy is here. Some of you dealing with the Capricorn or Capricorn energy around you. Capricorn's energy is all about, you know, work. If you know anything about Capricorn, they are the CEOs of the Zodiac. So you may be dealing with that type of energy. Like I'm not satisfied with my job or I'm not satisfied with the uh, money or income. So some of you could very well be ending something right now and moving on. Uh, to something that you feel satisfied with. I feel like a lot of you are bored on your jobs or a lot of you feel like you're not getting what you desire on your jobs, okay? And you can flip that and translate it right into a relationship, honey, where you felt like if you were with someone for a while, king of pentacles, that signifies loyalty, that you just, you felt betrayed or you felt like you were not getting what you wanted. You felt bored in the relationship or you've been feeling bored with a certain connection. Okay, you guys. So let's get into it. What's this 10 of swords, divine spirit, Holy spirit. Whoa, this flipped out. Okay. Let's see what it is. We have the knight of swords, three cards already, six of cups and the full energy. So with that 10 of swords, oh, okay. Someone felt like, and this could have been harsh words that someone said to end something with someone possibly that you felt a past life soulmate connection with, but then it's like someone decided to go on about their business. This could be you pretending like, Hey, I don't care. I don't, I don't want to care. I don't need to care. And I need to move on. Some of you could be in that energy right now. I feel like someone could be panicking that you're getting away also with the Knight of swords energy Wanting a brand new beginning with you, possibly. Show me one more for that Ten of Swords. What's that Ten of Swords there? Ten of Wands. The number 10 could be very significant for some of you. Yeah. Oh, something that has been going on for the last 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 days even. Or something that could have happened like last October. Something that could be coming up this October as well. Oof. Yeah, someone is overwhelmed, burdened, high priestess energy could be dealing with a Pisces for some of you. I feel like someone has been keeping something a secret or someone is trying to use their intuition, okay? They could be keeping feelings for you. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups sitting there, missing you, Five of Pentacles. Okay, and this has been difficult. Leo's energy is here with the Strength card there. Okay, what's this King of Pentacles for Sagittarius? king of pentacles why is that here okay now it's back out the devil energy okay lots of uh capricorn energy coming through three of swords someone feels a bit angry someone feels a bit angry here with the devil energy and the three of swords the tower could be a scorpio for some of you capricorn as well pisces Ooh. taurus virgo cancerian energy with the moon it's almost like i don't know if someone deals with high blood pressure or someone deals with a lot of stress something is stressing somebody out you guys 
And I feel like this has been a tower moment for this person. Yeah, they don't know how you feel. With the two of wands and the moon energy, this person may not know how you feel. Okay, what is this tower? Show me this tower. What is the tower? Page of Pentacles. They could want to apologize. Whoa, to the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. They could want to offer you something. What is this Three of Swords, though? Why are they feeling so sad? Knight of Wands, okay. With the Sun. Leo's energy coming through strong. This person could really want to rush in and to make something work. But I don't know if you want this with that Four of Cups sitting over there. What's that Devil energy? Show me. Six of Pentacles. Oh... Someone was possibly very selfish, you guys. Six of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles, like it was all about them. Like they refused to give you any type of energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or they refused to give you any type of attention, I'm feeling. I felt like it was just all about this person or all about what they wanted or what they needed. Possibly about money, status, their career. Like, support me, invest in me. And you're like, I want to be invested in as well. What's this Four of Cups? Show me. Show me the Four of Cups. The Hangman. So now you don't know. It's like, look, hold up. I don't know if I should. Yeah, Page of Cups. If I should trust this apology. Pisces energy coming through. Nine of Cups. Ooh, lots of Cups energy. This person may have you in your feelings because you're like, you know, you were focused so much on yourself and now what you want to come back and apologize. Now, some of you, you may get satisfaction off of this person coming back to apologize to you. I do feel that. Okay, show me who this person is and their feelings and thoughts towards Sag. Who is this person? Judgment could be a scorp for some of you. Who is this person? Someone definitely wanting to bring this back around. Who is this person? King of Wands could be a fellow, a fire sign. Yes, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius for some of you. King of Cups is also at the bottom of the deck. Strong water and fire coming through. So yeah, uh, I'm seeing a King of Wands that's wanting to come back around, you guys. Could be, could be male or female, doesn't matter. Someone who still has passion for you. Who is this person coming back for Sag? Could be a Gemini for some of you. Someone who is willing to manifest the Ten of Cups. Whoa. Yeah. What are they manifesting? Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work something out with you. Wanting to talk. Okay. Six of Swords. They could want to travel to see you. Yeah. They want this to move forward to possibly a long-term relationship or marriage with seeing you as the Empress. That's what they want. Okay, what does Sagittarius want though with this person? How is Sagittarius feeling or thinking toward this person, please? We have the Four of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, you're keeping a tight lip, I feel. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Oh, you, okay, okay, I feel your game. Yeah, there you go. That's you. You're waiting, okay? And then Two of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> Some of you are like, I'm going to hold back until I see that this person is actually ready to commit. Because I don't know if they're ready to commit. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So you're looking for something very solid. A lot of you. And it's like, I'm just going to hold back and wait. Because this is what I want. I want the Ace, not the Four. I want the Ace of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. I'm not sure if I want to commit to this person or I'm not sure if this person is ready for commitment. So that's what you're thinking right now. What else is Sagittarius thinking and feeling about this person, this situation? Eight of Wands, okay. With the star, it could be an Aquarius. Oh, okay. Well, some of you could want to talk to an Aquarius or move things forward with an Aquarius. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Yes, you want this person's attention. So if someone is coming back, Sag, let me say this. If it was all about their money, their status, their career and everything, and you left this person, you're saying to them, if you come back, 
are you ready for commitment, one? And then two, are you able to give me the attention that I need? It's like, if you come back, now the ball is in my court, eight of wands. You have to message me. Let me know that you want to talk. You want to meet up. Eight of wands, you want to come see me because I'm the star. If I'm your wish, like you say, queen of swords, you're being very demanding right now. <laughs> you're being very it's like if you want me come and get me like yeah i'm the star and you want this person's attention okay yeah potential outcome for this week between sag and this person potential outcome for this week five of pentacles okay with the moon oh someone missing the other person very deeply Queen of Cups. Yeah, hiding feelings, hiding emotions. So the both of you could be missing each other at different times. This is what I'm feeling very specifically. You may not both miss each other at the same time, but there may be times where you think of this person and you're like, oh, I miss them. And then you try to dismiss it. And then I feel the same thing with this person. Maybe they try to dismiss it, but that's what's going on this week. That's what I feel. Five of Pentacles, both missing each other with the moon energy, both hiding it as well that you have feelings, Queen of Cups, okay? So what does this person want to say to you? If this person could say anything to Sagittarius at this moment, what the, what would this person say to Sag? Woo! <laughs> Explosive, mind-blowing, nasty sex. Okay, so they want to put it on you. They want, they're ready. They, this person is ready. Feels like I'm ready. Okay, th this person is ready. Okay. Yeah, abandonment issues. They don't like that you left. This person does not like that you left. They do feel abandoned. And you may be like, bullshit. <laughs> but that's the energy. This is what they're wanting to tell you, okay? Okay, and you could be feeling this energy as well. Like, well, you abandoned me. Whoa, look, look at what just shot out. I allowed my family to come in between us. So very specific message that may uh, be what happened between the two of you. Okay. And that happens a lot. I think I got that energy for Aries read that their friends were coming in between their relationship. And then I'm in love with you. They want to let you know I'm in love with you, but they're afraid at the same time. They're afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Afraid that this could actually be over like for good or that you've walked away for good. Some of you could be going through a divorce because I see the justice card at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with court issues or court documents. I just heard restraining order. Some of you may have a restraining order on, on someone or you need to get one. Ooh. Ooh, somebody needs a restraining order. Ooh. Okay. Very specific message coming through for someone. Any other advice for... Sag, yeah, someone loves you. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Very attracted to you. They're definitely in love. Okay, whoa, what's this? We have ascending. Yeah, someone wants to take this to the next level. And I said they looked at you as the empress. Possibly wanting marriage with you. Wanting to make you the mother or father of their child. Okay, yes. Wanting to date you. We have date at the bottom of the deck. They wanting to transcend the obstacles that the two of you have had in the past, transcending obstacles. Okay. And then the last one we had was girl talk. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living, living in the moment, having fun. And this may be what you're doing right now. You may be trying to get over this person, spending time with your friends, having girl talk, guy talk, bar talk, you know, barbershop talk. And you may just be investing in yourself right now. But trust me, you have someone that is sitting here thinking about what they can do to you, okay? And they want to know what that thing do. <laughs> okay. And I feel like, you guys, sometimes uh, we get in these relationships and we feel like, oh, we're in love, we're in love. But actually, it's just like a sexual agreement. So be careful that, you know, this is not just a sex thing. Make sure this is really a love connection that can go the distance. Okay. Yeah. Somebody is watching someone, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking. Someone could be obsessively watching you or vice versa. You could be watching this person as well. Everybody watches everybody these days, right? Okay. Advice. 
advice one card please perfect timing okay this person may be waiting on the perfect timing to have this talk with you uh-huh get more information on this person i feel like this person wants to divulge more information but just in the perfect timing they've been waiting to talk to you Alrighty, righty sag that is your energy take care bye